Hey guys, SFP here and welcome to episode number 21 of my FIFA 16 Barcelona career mode and I believe I'm a little bit too loud guys. I am sorry about that. I guess I put the mic a little too close to my uh, voice here or I guess mouth technically. Anyways guys, we are having the first game against Sporting Gijón and while I take this, uh, I'll take this opportunity to bring up uh, Football FC again who again has been pretty active in my channel. He actually did recommend a couple of transfers, uh, Pogba being one of them, and Gaia as well. Now, I have Gaia on my radar already. Pogba is an interesting thing. I actually didn't have him in mind just because a lot of people use him, but if Football FC wants him, and I haven't had any other suggestions, I'll try to get him as well for my third pick as well. And also, he mentioned about uh, the difficulty, and I don't, know, I don't know if I actually put this on the description, but I'll probably put it on now. I actually play on a professional level. Which isn't exactly ideal, but I think it's challenging enough for me, and at least it's not uh, easy enough for me to just overpower each single team. And the scoring issue, well, I've never been good at scoring, so I don't think even if I change my formation, I will score that many goals. And here we have an example of that, my poor finishing. Well, it's someday catch up with me, but hopefully not now. And here we have Neymar, who's Football FC's favorite player, I'm assuming. PK, and PK scores the first goal. And it's a little weird to say that because Piquet being a center back, you know, he's usually not up in that level to actually score. Um, but yeah, he it's actually the formation. I believe it was a 4-3-2-3-1, three, three, uh, which I might look into it at some point. But one of the things I like about these established teams, and I know I, I said I, I'm not a big fan of realism, but I like to keep their formation at least for two seasons, mainly because with these more established teams, I feel like the formation is part of their culture. And so it would just be a little weird changing Barcelona's 4-3-3 at the moment. But maybe by Season 3 I will change that. Now for my full career mode, I have no problem doing that because uh, there are many factors that are beyond that. And here we see another opportunity here for, I believe it was Suarez, who had a shot. And I believe it got deflected maybe slightly. As you can see there, there looks to be like a slight deflection and it hits the top of the crossbar. And I think we get a corner kick, so hopefully... We can make something happen here. And here we have Piquet again. Well, Piquet can make another one. He has the opportunity, but he misses it. He misses it yet again. And like I said many times, finishing and me just don't get along. Defensively, I'm usually very sound. And so I'm very proud of for the fact that I haven't lost a game yet. And I believe we have the lowest uh, goals against. So here we have Iniesta, who gets a little clip behind. He doesn't get the penalty kick call, but he takes another shot. And the shot just goes slightly wide there. And we can see there the players are in frustration. And here we have Rakitic. Who's going to go for the corner kick. And can we get something out of it? Yes, we do. And that is Mathieu with the header. And this is a two-all game. guy, Or not two-all, excuse me. A two-zero game. And the traveling fans for Barcelona are very ecstatic about that. And so far my... Center backs seem to be doing a lot better job of scoring than my forwards at the moment, at least for this game, which is really, really interesting. And I don't think I've scored, I don't think I've scored a corner kick goal in a long time, which is a little weird to say because at the beginning of my seasons, even with the Fulham one, I scored plenty of goals through set pieces, and so it's a little odd that it's taken this long for me to score another penalty kick goal. But that is 2-0 against Sporting Gijón, and I believe this will be the last play. Of the half here will we get something will they get something no that is how this first half will end and here we see our own player who's on loan at, at the time at sporting Hong. i believe his name is halilovic um can't wait actually to get him on the fold i think next season because i don't think um i don't think he he has a two-year loan agreement anyways guys like i was saying actually at the end of this episode we're actually going to hit the january transfer window now, judging by the fact that I have Matthew as as a left back here, I might be looking into another left back. And here we have a blunder here that we usually don't have. And I'm very, very surprised that it happened to Claudio Bravo because Claudio Bravo has been so great for us. And that one he just reads very, very poorly. And he does manage to get his hands on the ball, but then he kind of just tips it up a little. And he leaves it squarely, perfectly placed there for 
the player from uh, Sporting Gijón and the goal will be given to Bernardo. And here we have again Messi, Messi the king, Messi the god, can he do something? He's going, he's going to cut back, he takes a shot, deflected, and Turan I believe is the one who connects the header, Turan, our substitute from the second half, makes it 3-1 to one, guys. And I know I've been saying I'm not good at scoring, but I, I have, you know, I have a few games where I do manage to uh, overcomplicate the other team with my goal scoring ability. And that actually was a beautiful shot. I like the replay shot. It looks very good. And Turan was a great option coming off the bench. And that's his first goal of the season. And so far, 1-3. to three. I believe this would classify as a good goal scoring game. At least, and I, I just spoke about not being able to score that often. And I just scored three this game. And here we have Munir. Munir goes for the pass. He finds Sandro. Sandro then passes it to Messi, and Messi scores for the fourth goal of this game. And it is a 1 4 win that we're hopefully taking. If now maybe we can sneak one more in. And we here we see Halilovic. Obviously, not happy. A little bit frustrated with the result that he has with his team. But. There's nothing you can do when it comes to Barcelona. As Football FC said, Barcelona is a high-scoring team. And so, at some point, I was going to have a, a score like this. And here we see that Messi gets, I believe, his like eighth goal of the season. And I know that thing just popped up, but I forgot. We have Messi yet again. Can he get something happen? Sandro. Sandro takes a shot, and he gets... Saved there by the goalkeeper. No fifth goal apparently right now, but maybe it looks good that we can get maybe one final chance and boost that score up to 5-1. Here we have Rakitic with a corner kick that doesn't happen. Here we have Munir. Munir to Messi. Messi goes for the shot, and the shot gets saved yet again. By Cuellar, I think. Cuellar, the goalkeeper from Sporting Gijón. And will this be the last one? Rakitic. And no, no one connects with it, guys, unfortunately. And that will be the end of the game. 4-1. A pretty good sounding result. Pretty Barcelona-esque result, to be honest. Um, and there you go, for C. You said I wasn't scoring too much. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this game right here. Let's just hope that the next game is just as entertaining. And here we have, again, the uh, training simulation. Now, I know Football FC wanted me to train uh, Neymar, and I will for the next video, though. Just remind me in the comment section right now. And here we're going to, I think, go into, uh, let's see here. We actually get an offer from Norway, but Norway is not one of my teams. So the next game will be against... Uh, the team here here we're gonna reject a couple of off of you squad players here because I'm very picky and I'm going to go with the highest ones here and Chile uh, is wondering about it Peru now Peru was on my list but considering I'm having them I'm coaching them in the form career mode I'm not gonna double down on Peru so right now it's just Portugal and the US and it's a third one that you guys have the option of choosing and I still haven't heard anything so as far as I'm concerned those are the only two at the moment and here we have a game against Real Betis and while we go for the intro I'm gonna take uh, another moment here to give a shout out to another a person who has been very active on my channel and that would be Lone Lono Gamer I believe and basically I'll leave a description excuse me a description I'll leave a link to his channel as well on my description section now what he's doing right now is I believe he's playing a uh, Mad Max sorta esque game right now and it's been fairly interesting I haven't gone about watching a lot of them but considering Mad Max is a good uh, the last Mad Max I think was great and I actually just rented it right now so I'm going to see it later today because it's a very enjoyable movie and I'm assuming the game is piggybacking on the success of the film. Maybe not exactly uh, plot-wise, but uh, let me know actually, uh, Sp uh, Lono Gamer, how that game is going on. And if it has anything to do with the movie itself, because I honestly don't know. But check out his channel, I'll leave it in the description. 
I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. And here we have the first opportunity for us, but it's saved. There's a shot from Neymar actually, and it gets saved there ever so slightly from the Real Betis uh, goalkeeper there. And this brings me back to Real Betis because I used to be a big fan of Real Betis in the sense that I used to enjoy the way they played. They're kind of like uh, us against the world mentality. I remember Tony Doblas when he was the goalkeeper from uh, Real Betis, and that was years ago. I don't know where Tony Doblas is if he's not retired out already. And obviously, I remember Joaquin. I was a big fan of Joaquin, and I was so happy when he got uh, he got into the roster for Spain for the World Cups. He didn't have as quite of a good run in Valencia, and then I'm not exactly sure where he went after that. Well, that's a darn shame because I was really high on on Joaquin there. Anyways, here we have Castro from Real Betis trying to make something happen, but the ref will blow the whistle, and that is how the first game. Excuse me, the first half will end, guys, 0-0, which is different than the, the way the first half ended last time when I had like a 3-1 lead. So right there, it seems that we're not doing as good as I would have liked, and maybe my inability to score is catching up to me for this game. And here you have Neymar. Neymar, can we make something happen with Neymar? Neymar goes for the shot, and it goes in. And Neymar scores what I would think is his sixth goal of the season. So far, my top three are racking up a lot of goals. At least in my opinion. Here we have the pass from Iniesta, who's going to get the assist. And what a great shot there from Neymar. If it was a second later, I think the defender would have gotten it, actually. But what a great, great shot. And let's see, that is his fifth goal of the season. So five goals for Neymar, and I believe it's like eight or nine goals for Messi, and maybe four goals for Suarez. So, so far between those three players, I've racked at least 20 goals. Here we have Neymar cutting again. He's going to go for a shot again, is he not? No, he actually passes it to uh, Turan, I believe. Yes, he does. And what a great assist from Neymar. He looked like he was going to go for the shot, and then... Uh, Turan actually just pokes it on the side there, and it goes in beautifully. And that is 2-0 for us. Let me see that Molinero is not too happy about that. I would not be happy about that either, but Turan gets his second goal of the season. And he's really been very productive coming off the bench. I'm really impressed. I wasn't too high on him. I actually had him on the uh, transfer block, but... I might just keep him for another more, another season more, unless I get a very, very good offer. And that is how this game will end, guys. It will be a 2-0 a victory. Not exactly as great as my 4-1 win, but at least I get the win and I get the clean sheet and I get a couple of goals as well. So I'm very satisfied with that game and that performance for my team. And here, again, we have the player development. And please let me know, guys, if you want me to train anyone else for the next week because I do pre-record these. So unfortunately... Um, you got to let me know now so that by the time I start recording, maybe on a Thursday, I'll have your notes in mind. Here we have the monthly scouting report. And so far, the Americans haven't exactly been the best. And, and that's to be expected. I didn't expect to get a good bunch of youngsters from America. Or excuse me, the U.S. Because America is obviously the whole uh, South and North America, Central America as well. But Palmer Brown looks interesting. So I'm going to keep him for a little while longer. And again, I'll have another week gone by, and another training session will happen as well. And actually, I'm going to take this a time here, guys, while I'm kind of just going all the way to the to the January transfer window. To take advantage of letting you guys know that I, I actually will be doing something very special for the fourth week, I believe, of November now. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, that is Thanksgiving for here in the U.S., and I actually uh, asked... I actually have a lot of free time now for that week. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this whole big Thanksgiving kind of giving thanks to you guys for being so supportive of my FIFA YouTube channel. And I'm going to give you guys personal shout outs. You know, I'm going to actually go to your channel, see what you're about and kind of give a description of it so that whoever watches my videos will know. And I'll leave a description, excuse me, a link to your channel as well on my description section but there is a catch guys and the catch is that 
I'm only going to give it to the top 14 uh, people who are active on my channel. So if you guys want to get on that, starting November, if you guys are the one of the 14 most active people on my channel, I will give you guys a shout out. So you have to subscribe, like, and then just give me a comment on it down below. Comment on the video. Also, we see that we get an offer from Rakitic, and I actually won't mind. I'm going to hold it for now, but let me let me know, you guys, whether or not you want me to sell Rakitic, because I'm all down for selling Rakitic. Um, but if you guys don't want me to sell Rakitic, that's fine. I'll hold them for a little while longer, but I'm really keen on selling them right now. So that is my idea, and I do need money to get Pogba, if that is one of my actual um, players that I'm going to get. And here we're going to end this video with the squad report. So yeah, guys, remember, um, starting November, if you are the most active, or 14 most active people on my channel, I will give you guys a shout out on my videos. So basically, I'm not going to have a shout out video per se, because uh, I don't think that's my thing. And besides, I feel it's, it would be more beneficial for you guys if I give you shout outs on an actual video. But anyways, I'll give you more details on that later this week, this coming up week. Uh, that's it for this video. Follow me on Twitter at SFP Soccer Show. Follow me on Twitch at SFP Gaming. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button to stay updated. And until next time, guys, which will be on Friday. See you all later.